Fort Rate of Hackney by Zed Nelson, published by Hoxton Mini Press. For those of you who don't know Zed Nelson, um, Zed Nelson has, for me, I, I, when I first become aware of Zed, it was Gun Nation, which I think was about 2000, 1999, 2000, which was his portrait of Americans with guns. Absolutely fantastic book. I do have it somewhere. I will throw it out here and we'll have a look at it and, and get you aware of his work. And I think he did something on, was it Models and Masculinity, some Love Me or something like that. He did another book. And then uh, he's got um, this book and what looks like a really interesting book on Israel is coming out. And that I will buy because I love some of the context and the way he's used certain things as artifacts and, and, and photographs and stuff like that. And I love the context of not just the fascination of Israel, but um, in, in, in the context of where he's shooting it. I love it. And you can learn off stuff like that. Anyway, Hoxton Money Press, one of my favourite little publishers. And I, I've, got, I've done one or two books. This is, I think, the second or third. And I'm, I'm going to do a few more on Hoxton Money Press because I, I really like them. I love the quality of these books. I love what they offer. They're not expensive. They are... Um, sort of educational, they give you insights into the community of the Hoxton, Hackney sort of area, which is fantastic. And you know, can you imagine if every region had a little publishing company like this? It would be amazing. We'd be so educated in our environment and what we're about and it would, you know, it's creating a great little industry. So anyway, right, I'm going to look at this and I haven't opened this book for quite a while. And I've got this lovely little quality, you know. The, the, the Hoxton really give you something to sort of cherish, you know, and, and, and their books are, are, are really quality driven. And you never know what's around the next corner. So there's a bit about Zed. Um, Zed Nelson gained international recognition as a documentary photographer working in some of the world's most troubled areas. I think he did something on the... Um, wasn't it the French... Um, what's the French army called? I do know what it's called, uh, 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 anybody can join him, I forgot what it's called, the French Foreign Legion. I'm sure I first come away with Zed's work with that, I may be wrong. And then Gun Nation was where I went, wow, it's great stuff. I have met Zed a couple of times around the time this Gun Nation was out at my old office in London, Insight, and I, I, I met him through other people. He won't remember, but um, he seemed like a nice guy. And I'll put that there. I'll keep that there. No, I'll put that over there. So we've got... A, how many pages we got? And we have... It isn't numbered, but there's a few. I'm not going to count. There may be 40, 50, something like that. What edition have I got here? This was published a couple of years ago. Now, there's about three editions of this out at the minute, and I don't know what edition this is. I, I presume, and I think I got this... Sadly, I got the second edition. I thought I'd bought this when it came out. Um, the first edition was published in 2014. And the second edition. So I think this, it was obviously, it went out quick. So sadly, I haven't got, which I thought I had the first edition, I haven't, I've got a second edition. Never mind. Nevertheless, it's a fantastic book. What is it about, the Portrait of Hackney? It is about, I think, uh, the coming together of different communities which make up the borough of Hackney. There's the arty, hipster community and there is what we say as the, 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 the council estate and the, 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 maybe it's the wrong word to, use, word to use, but there's that symbolic stuff of the gun crime, the gangs, the knife crime, the um, different different parts of the community which come together to make up Hackney from the, the good, the bad, the ugly, I guess, you know? But it's up to you what you decide is good or bad or ugly. And I think it's a really interesting place. I know it because I lived in London for a long time and I worked around London. So I have passed to um, Hackney quite a few times and worked in there. So let's have a quick look at this. I'm going to give you an insight. I think it's very much available. You can buy it at Hoxton Mini Press. You can buy it on Amazon. Um, this is, um, is it a three part? This is book one, book two, book three. So book one, I've lived in the London for 86 and a half years. Book two, East London Swimmers, and book three, Port Red Hackney. I've got all three of them, and I will be doing book one and book two at some point. Um, 
let's have a little look. Let's see if I can find some text here. So I'm not going to. I'm going to cover this up because I think you should buy it to read it. This series of this series of work in progress mediates on the confusion of cultures, clash of identities, and the beauty and ugliness. So they're using that word as well. That coexists in the borough today. Well, that's good. And I'm wondering, it's up to you what you decide is ugly and what you decide is good. I'll leave that to the viewer. All I want to do is give you an insight into Somerset's great Port Whitworth and um, his and, and, and this publication by Hoxton. So this is Zed Nelson again, growing up in Hackney. And now let's just leave that picture there. So I'm going to bring this down again. Just let me bring it down, let it focus. Now, the paper has got a lovely, almost like a, a matte finish to it, and, and it's got this texture to it. It feels like, almost like, maybe blotting paper is the wrong word, but it's got a lovely, I just love the feel to it. It's not over glossy, it's not glossy at all, really. It's just got a lovely dimension to it. Um, I guess this is Zed's travels through Hackney, and he stumbles and comes across the people he meets, the, play, the, the, the situations he meets for this purpose of this book. Like I said, it's a work in progress. I'm sure Zed's still shooting it in his day-to-day -day, um, walkabouts, uh, as you do as a, a natural thing which comes to photographers. I even like myself, I shoot every day. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. So we're going to skim through it. I'm going to get the first couple of pages. So. I guess Zed's just capturing him in the street, getting portraits, vox popping or whatever you want to call it. It's not easy to do. You have to have the audacity or the balls to go up to people and stop them and say, look, this is what I'm doing. I know certain photographers have little books and portrait books of what they're doing and caption portraits. I think Harry Borden and people like that. Um, I think people like, I'm sure Barry J. Holmes has little books he keeps around when he's sort of doing his work and shows his vast array of, of talent, what he can, you know, what he's capable of. Um, and I think, you know, I think when you, when you meet in this set, when you get, you know, this is sort of obviously connotations of gang or two guys looking a bit dodgy, but that's fair enough, you know, they might not be, or they might be. But I guess when Zed hits upon this situation, he's got to interpret it and he's got to, he's got to make sense of that coming together with this situation and not only has he got to create a beautiful exposure like he's done he's got to create a sort of meaning within that and he's got to he can't he's got to be really careful with stuff like this he's not portraying these guys in the in the wrong light and i'm not going to question it because i don't know anything about it and i and, and i think what he's trying to do is a symbolic gesture towards his community and out of context these guys might be totally um, innocent guys who's done it, but they might not be. And that is the beauty. And someone like Zed's experience, so he isn't going to mess about. She's beautiful. But there's such a lovely colour and tone to it. Amazing hair. It's almost like a passiveness so far. You know, we've seen with this, it's quite passive. The light's quite subdued. There's a passiveness there. There's an individuality with each thing. You can't expect men of my generation to grow up. We're never going to be the men your fathers are. Haggerston Park. Haggerston Park. Now, is that graffiti? I don't know. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? What a shot. OK, so let's get it in frame, right? That's fantastic. Again, there's a sort of surreal quality to all these. It's so beautifully observed, this. There's such a lovely quality to it. Now, I'm going to skip a couple of pages now. I love the, the almost reflection here. And I wonder where that light shines coming from. Is it a car? Is it a reflector? There's nothing to indicate. It, chances are it was shot with some flash. Or maybe the flash gun was there. I can see the flash in it. Interesting. Bit of a weird juxtaposition of pink and green. Um, that's such an interesting photograph. 
Look at that. It just leaves you asking questions, doesn't it? It's such a great shot. Really nicely observed. You know, I think Jay, I think Zed's walking around and looking for this. This stuff happens when you're out there pushing it and trying and looking for it and searching for answers with what you you uh, searching for answers around the brief, your photography brief and why you're out there. I'm skimming this. I've done quite a lot of pages. I've missed loads out. So, and there's still a few to do, and I'm going to give you a couple more. But I think you should get out and buy this. Again, you know, the books I sort of look at, at I'm looking at at the minute are books where I want you to inspire non-photographers to get out and take pictures. Or even just think about the way you take pictures. Think about the things you can create and... and it's easy to put a book out now through online services like Blurb and people like that and, and get out there and, and put some books together. I do it with mobile phone stuff and even just as a reference or as a gift to somebody, buy these books as well. Help little publishing companies like Hoxton. Show support. Some really lovely observed stuff in here. This, again, another shot I think made to look easy. I think so it's filled the frame up He's waited for this shot, you know, it, it's, it's such a busy, busy shot. But to get the alignment there, to get this, to get the contrast and culture, to put this car in there, to get that, the layers and the, and the texture within that shot. There's so much going on with it. I'd love to see this a big print. But I think Zed spotted this, I think he sat around, he's waited for it. Maybe he's just passed it and he's got it, who knows. But that's a great beauty about good photography it leaves you asking questions another questionable shot where you're asking questions another interesting portrait again that sort of passiveness coming across I'm missing a lot of the portraits out it's literally where my finger's going in the book so but that's good you know I hope I've left you thinking do you know, I'd like to invest in this. I think it's a really good addition to your bookshelf. Also, I think by looking at Hoxton's work as well and get out and buy Zed's books as well. He's got some really interesting books and his new one on Israel. Israel looks fascinating. It's definitely something I'm gonna buy and I'll be putting it straight on here and I'll have a look at it. Let me just see if I can end with a put. Of course, what a shot to end with, the cover. Now, am I, or is there, there's no keys. Sometimes I wish there's no key or index. Sometimes I wish there was a little bit of information about people. I'd like to find out a little bit more, purely because I'm just inquisitive and I want to know what, with stuff like this, I'd like to, if there's a bit of text, I might understand where she was five minutes before and where she's going five minutes after. And, and I just think it sets the scene and I think text can be really powerful and for such a beautifully observed book maybe it deserves a little bit of information there i know pictures tell the story i know how strong the image can be and yeah maybe zed's just ask, leaving you asking questions and being ambiguous to a point but being very informative on a cultural aspect of his borough well done mate i love it there's a charles dickens quote there it was the best of times, it was the worst of times, it was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief, it was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light, it was the season of darkness, it was the spring of hope, it was the winter of despair. We had everything before us, we had nothing before us. We're all going to direct to heaven. We were all going to direct the other way. A Tale of Two Cities, Charles Dickens. I'm sure I got some of that wrong, but what the heck? I'm a photographer. Um, design and Large, Friedrich Huber. Series design done by breadcollective.co.uk. I'll check them out and see what they're like. Well done, Zed. Well done, Hackney. Well done, Ho Hoxton Mini Press. Great book. I'm sure there's more to this than just what, what's out here. But check them both out. I'll put a link for them both. Well done, Zed.